Hi guys, uh, so today I am building a container. Uh, I went to Home Depot and I found this. I have not used this, a Proven Winners Super Tunia Lobby Dobby. And uh, I have Helicrossum. This is more like a silver rib ribbon. It's kind of like genetic, generics. So, and Super Tunia Bordeaux. And another one that is so cute is Charm Wine. Charm Wine. So, it's good for sun and shade, but this is gonna become big. So, I feel like, oh my god, it's so cute. I'm gonna try those one. So, yeah, so the uh, Helicrossum, it's not some, it's not proven winners, but I'm gonna put this as a, like, my height of roller. And the three would be like my spiller and my filler. So, so just spotting mix, nothing fancy, and nothing, no, no fertilizer or slow release, just cutting mix in here. And uh, this one, I think it's cute. I have not tried this before. I have not planted this type of sapertonia. I'm normally stuck with my bubble gum, <laughs> my favorite. So, but I'm gonna try this in this container and Bordeaux yeah I don't think I have tried Bordeaux so. it's gonna be so cute and I'm going to fertilize their weekly basis like uh, water soluble I have uh, for blooms. So, yeah, let me put this tag together so they I know I have there. So yeah, there's my basket. I mean my this the lighting is a little weird and dark with my Japanese maple in there. So that's so cute. So Bordeaux, it's more like a light the uh, lavender with the dark mauve in the throat and this lovey dovey is like more like a combination of white and pink and I think it really really gonna pop with this silvery foliage and the dark uh, mauve there so yeah and my other that I made two days ago is this beach paradise and uh, call use that is pinch I have to get it and the snow drift and of also another sorry um, lemon coral so all that is or all that are proven winners plants so yeah look so cute and I'm so excited that can't wait for these guys to make it nicer and bigger so so and this part is gonna stay in that bench and that part I'm gonna move into my front so, so yeah let me show you where I move that pink part and this one I'm gonna move in that position so yeah that black hot container I put it here in front of my house with my other collection of black hats with different sizes as you notice this is my variegated uh, uh, boxwood with my square container and that's also boxwood but it's not variegated but kind of circle and this is something is digging my endless hydrangea it, is it endless or all summer something that turned blue and of course my beautiful Japanese maple in a long tall skinny container with my pansies yeah so I think it's so cute uh, yeah, so I think the size container that I'm missing here is the rectangle. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna get that. My, I might get those rectangle. So yeah, but right now I love it. I love the collection of my black pots and my topiaries and my my um, Japanese maple. And this is a little part shade in here, guys. Dappled sun. So I'm hoping those fuchsia and my snowdrift will will survive. But it's pretty 
full sun but it's just like a weird lighting sometimes so yeah hope you like my my pots and i hope you have a chance to to go out and do something do some planting and some gardening thank you guys i'll show you the other pot that i just made here's the manager crazy see he crazy <laughs> So yeah, here's the pot that I just made and I'm so excited for this because I have not used all this, uh, all of these guys. It's my first time that I used the planted. So I hope it will uh, turn out good. I don't really need to deadhead all this. These are like a self uh, cleaning plants, but I just kind of like to play with it. So anyway, thank you guys. I uh, hope you like it and hope you have a chance to do some gardening like I said. So enjoy and happy gardening. Take care. Bye.